put it uh, shortly, what is your greatest concern um, regarding the transition from the monetary system to the resource-based economy? That uh, some of the countries like North Korea and China might use an atom bomb or a hydrogen bomb. That's my greatest concern. We don't have much time left, and nations are building weapons continuously, spending lots of money using the best brains in the world, like the Hill scientists, making weapons of mass destruction. And I know what the weapons are. And I know that U.S. has 300 submarines. Each one has more destructive power than all the wars in history. I'm afraid of that. Time is running out. I don't know if I can get the people on this world cruise. I'm doing my darndest to get this information out there. I need your help. That's my major worry. We may not have any time. And then I ask you to get hold of a newspaper in England called The Telegram. How many years ago was that? 2002, eight years ago. How long? Eight years ago. Eight years ago, they ran the headline. U.S. intends to bomb seven countries, nuclear bomb, and it means North Korea, China, Russia, and that's why they're building our bombs. You didn't know that? But the U.S. is so stupid that even if they intended to do attack, they shouldn't have released that. So North Korea is afraid of the U.S., so they're building nuclear weapons, so that if you touch me, I'll touch you. Same with China. So they're afraid of us. Why? They have a good reason to be. U.S. said, we will sneak attack seven countries. Get it. It's in the, it's in the Telegraph, London. It's, it's official now. Countries. They're planning to, to go in Iran as well people. now. Just hearing really? about that. Yes. Wow. It's and right. I think <laughs> that the Pentagon, top military men, are very ignorant people. Because I don't... I'm going to tell you something. I wouldn't do this, but they x-ray your bags when you get on an airplane. I can design a sport film that gives off poison gas. won't show up on x-ray, or I wouldn't do that. You get on an airplane and kill everybody. Whatever you think of, somebody can think of a countermeasure. There's no security. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're assuming another person doesn't have an air force. So they hijack an airplane, fly him into the towers. What happened to all the money we spent on radar and defense when they flew into the towers? We gave the army whatever the hell they wanted at Pearl Harbor. And two soldiers said, there's a whole flight of airplanes coming over. And he went and told it to a captain. The captain said, it's probably our plane. It was the Japs coming to attack Pearl Harbor. So the captain said, I don't would worry about if I were you. Well, what the hell are you doing there? What is national defense? How can you defend your country against that kind of stupidity? We don't want people with radar and television. We want machines that can detect an airplane, whether it's ours or other, and missiles go out automatically if they're coming to attack. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to leave it in the hands of top military people. I've always found military people to be extremely stupid. I can give you a description if you want, but I'd rather answer your questions. Yes.